Have you ever cried when you were in boarding school in Vienna? Yeah, in the first year, yeah. Mm. Do you call your mom? I mean, whenever you, you miss her? She would normally say, try not to be upset. Growing up in a single-parent family, Dennis and Nigel recently adopted their mother's last name. The twin brothers became the first Singaporeans to join the world-famous Vienna Boys Choir in 2009 when they were merely 11, and they had two people to thank for this priceless opportunity. First, their elder sister, Winona, for posting a video of Nigel's performance on the renowned choir's online guest book, which subsequently won the boys an invitation to audition. Second, their mother Sharon for supporting their stay in Vienna, paying their school fees and hiring private tutors to help them with German and piano classes. All this amounts to about $15,000 per year. Their air tickets home will cost another $12,000. So when you first got to Vienna, do you stay together in the same room? Okay. And after the first semester? We can choose. So why did you choose to stay apart from Dennis? Because he's sometimes annoying. He is sometimes annoying. Okay. In what ways? <laughs> he disturbs me when I'm reading. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what about Dennis? Well, I chose because... Mm -hmm. um, I want to be with my friends. George is your roommate. Yeah. Right, okay. So why did you choose him to be your roommate? This is funny. He's funny. Okay. And he talks a lot? Yeah. Okay. So you want a talkative roommate and Nigel wants a very, very quiet roommate. Not just that, they also prefer staying in different hotel rooms during their international tours. And elder twin Dennis said he's quite different from Nigel, although they were born just eight minutes apart. I do more sports than him. And he likes to read. Okay. What sort of sports do you do? Like soccer. Soccer. Oh. And unlike Nigel, the more playful Dennis also didn't quite need to overcome homesickness. But both of them previously from St. Gabriel's Primary School in Singapore, have to overcome the language barrier in Austria as most vocal and academic classes are conducted in German. Is it a struggle to have to pick up German? Yes. Do most of your friends speak English? Can they just speak German. Are you able to get 100% of what they, they are saying most of the time? Not 100, but... Yeah, I can understand. Well, in the beginning, they had a struggle, of course, coming mm. to Vienna mm -hmm. from a different country. But when they're playing outside, they're always um, competing and, and <laughs> looking who is the better player. And it comes to the point where someone says something and they don't understand. So they really had to learn it fast. And okay. at that age, when they came, I think they improved very fast. They're doing really good. <laughs> Besides the four-hour-a-day singing classes, they also have to study subjects like English, German, Geography, History and Mathematics. So good that they are catching up with the language. But what happens when the growing boys' voices deepen? Will they still get to stay with the choir? Their conductor Karim Sazain tells us more in the next part.